Hello, everybody, and what we're going to do tonight is we're going to run through a quick, relatively simple video on how to set up your INI files to um, set your single player version of Arc Survival Evolved up to work with this particular Arc uh, Surviving with Style mod pack. All right, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Windows Explorer and you're going to want to go to this path on whatever hard drive it is that you've got Steam and, and your Arc Survival Evolved games installed on. You're going to go to C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arc, Shooter Game, Saved, Config, Windows No Editor. In your first little Windows Explorer window over here on the right, you're going to go to that path. And then in your Windows Explorer over here on the left, what you're going to want to do is go navigate to your desktop. And in your desktop, you're going to want to create a new folder. And we're going to call that Arc Temp. And in that Arc Temp folder, we're going to create a subfolder called Surviving. with style okay so once we go into that surviving with style folder over here on this right screen from the windows no editor folder you're going to take the game and the game user settings files and you're going to copy those and you're going to paste them over into the surviving with style folder and i'll explain to you why here in just a few minutes just trust me on this the next thing that you're want, going to want to do is you're going to want to, in the right-hand window, over here on the right-hand side, if you look in the address bar here, you're going to see this little folder icon in the address bar. You're going to want to click on that folder icon, and you're going to want to drag it over here into the Surviving with Style window. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a shortcut for you that'll take you right back to this path right here. Okay, now the next step that you're going to want to do over here in this left window is you're going to want to go back one folder to the Arc Temp folder. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a backup folder for all of your files as they are now because I'm assuming at some point you might want to step back into the game that you've been playing on the original island. So over here we're going to in the left hand window we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it backup and in this left folder we're going to take another copy of this game in game user settings files in fact let's go ahead and take a copy of the entire folder and we will copy that and paste it over here the next thing we're going to do is on the right hand side we'll go back one folder to saved and we will take our saved arcs local local folder and in this folder we're going to take this file here called the island.arc we're going to copy that and paste that over as well those two groups of files over here on your left should be enough for you to restore your previously played game back to its original status before you get started if you ever want to uh, to go back to what you were playing before we got started with this mod pack okay so once you've got that done over here in the left window we're going to go back to arc temp and back into surviving with style over here on the right hand side window we're going to go back to save and then go to configs and windows no editor and at this point here in this left hand folder we now have a set of files for the game and the game user settings that we can use to modify to update them with the INI settings for this particular mod pack. Last but not least over here in the left window now that we've got a backup of the original the island.arc file that you can use in the future what we're going to do is over here on the right hand side we're going to go back to saved we're going to go to 
saved arcs local and we're going to find this file the island.arc and we're going to delete it so that when we restart this game we can start the map from scratch okay now that we've got the arc delete the island save deleted we're going to go back to saved config windows no editor so now what we've got here is a backup of these two files which we're going to edit based on the links in the mod packs discussion and what we'll do is we'll modify the contents of these two files and then paste them into this folder over here on the right and replace these two existing files okay so the very first file that we're going to update is going to be the game.ini file. The way that we're going to update that first is we're going to right click on the file and go to open with and select notepad. That's going to open this file in notepad and yours is probably going to contain quite a bit of stuff that may or may not look like what I just had in mind. But we're going to open that file up in notepad. You can see the file name up here at the top in the left hand corner. Then over here on the Steam page in the discussions where you see the links to the different INI files in paste bin, we're going to click this link right next to game INI. And that's going to open a new window and it'll warn you that you're leaving Steam, which is fine. Continue to the external site that's going to take you to paste bin. Now, once you get into paste bin, what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see down here where it says raw paste data. In this raw paste data window down here, you want to click. And then after you've clicked and release, you want to press control A to select all of it. You want to select all of it. I'm, do, I'm bringing up this by right clicking. You select all and then you copy. Then you come back over here into your notepad and you press control V to paste or you can come up here to edit and select paste. That's going to paste all this new information in here. Once you've got all that pasted, let's go over a couple of the things that you've just pasted into here. So you'll know a little bit of uh, what you've got. Uh, these are basically the settings that your server, that your game is going to look at every time it loads. Um, we've boosted the experience points just a, lit, a little bit. Um, we've also boosted a few other things for dinos and Ingram points and other things. But once you get all this pasted in here, you're going to come up here to file and select save. Once you've saved it, you can go ahead and click X to X out of it. And over here in your game.ini paste bin tab, you can X out of that as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to update this game user settings.ini file. We're going to right click on it, go to open with and select notepad. Then we're going to select everything that's in this file and delete it so that we can start from scratch. Then back over here at Steam, we're going to go to the game user settings.ini paste bin link here and click on that. When that opens up the new tab, we'll go ahead and continue to the external site. And then we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom again. And here in the raw paste data, we'll right click and select all. And then we will right click and copy. And we'll come back over here to the left to the game user settings.ini file. And we will go to edit and select paste to paste all this information in here. And then go to File, Save, and close the window. And we are done setting up these two copies of the INI files to use with this mod pack. Over here, back over here in Steam, you can go ahead and click, close out this game user settings.ini tab and close out the entire Steam window. Now, we're back to our original two Windows Explorer windows. Over here on the left, we have the folder that we have created on the desktop with the two copies of the INI files in the Surviving with Style folder. 
over here on the right hand side we still have this folder path to see program files steam steam apps common arc shooter game saved config windows no editor so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these two ini files and we're going to select them both we're going to right click and copy and then over here on the right hand side we're going to right click and paste and it's going to come up asking you if you want to replace the files in the destination and the and that is definitely what you want to do you tell it to replace the files in the destination it updates the files and now once you fire up arc survival evolved everything should be set up correctly all of the mods are going to load in the correct order automatically the only thing that you'll want to check is to make sure that the difficulty settings Every time you go into Fire Up Arc, you're going to want to make sure that the difficulty settings are set to 3.0. The very first time you fire up the game, after you modify these INI files, it will say 3.0. But you're going to, after you get done playing and exiting the system and coming back, it's going to try to default back down to 1. You're going to have to reset that to 3 every time. Okay, I hope that makes things a lot easier for you, and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop me a comment into the comments section, and I will try and get responses back to as many questions as I can as quickly as I can. Thanks, and have a blast.